welcome to my latest vlog which is about uh, batman hush uh, as you can see that 2019 is the year of the bat uh, it's been 80 years since batman was first created by bill finger and bob kane uh, our favorite detective superhero uh, who brings us the best of both worlds on one side you have superheroism and on the other side you have this thrilling detective uh, noir genre uh, kind of a storyline with a lot of thriller a lot of suspense and everything and in that respect why am i motivated to do another vlog uh, for batman is the fact that recently i'm sure all of you have come across uh, the trailer for uh, Batman Hush and for those of you who are new to this uh, super villain Hush is one of the most outstanding creations ever done by Batman creators in recent history uh, I think the f in recent memory oh, in the 90s we can think of Harley Quinn who was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm but at the same time uh, in the early 2000s uh, the famous legend Jim Lee had signed up with DC Comics. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of Jim Lee, he his first rise to stardom came with Marvel when he was working on X Men titles and uh, Punisher titles as well. And later on, in the early uh, within the 90s, what he was able to do was go on to co-create the Image imprint, the Image Comics, which today have uh, a good number of uh, emerging characters, superhero characters such as Son. Uh, uh, and I think uh, Walking Dead is also one of them. Jim Lee, when he signed up with uh, DC Comics, he was interested with uh, the Batman character. Jim Lee, being an artist, his 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 approach towards any character is something of is something really uh, attractive. I mean, he has developed a, a new style within the comic book illustration, uh, just like Jack Kirby's style is extremely unique and on the other side we have the painted art of Alex Ross, we have Sal Bushima, we have John Bushima, we have Gil Kane, we have uh, all of these guys they have had a unique approach towards their uh, their drawing of characters. Iconic artwork by Jim Lee on one side and then you have a very uh, properly written storyline uh, from Jeff Flow. and it's the best of both worlds. Batman Hush, uh, the arc, it's not uh, mentioned a lot by the comic book readers of today. Everyone is talking about Frank Miller's work which is awesome on its own right but I believe that Batman Hush and I'm really glad that Warner Brothers Animation what they did is that they are adapting it onto the uh, TV screens and uh, in that respect what happens the only thing that puts me off is the fact that Warner Brothers needs to come up with a technique whereby they are able to take the original artwork and uh, adapt it into a full motion graphic uh, motion graphic uh, feature so seeing Jim Lee's artwork in motion uh, that would have really taken this animation to a whole new level uh, I hope it, it has been ad adapted properly uh, but at the same time uh, once it gets released it's my request that you guys do read uh, these uh, this gra these gra buy these graphic novels and have a read because uh, the what you, what you're gonna be able to experience uh, this while you're reading is something that cannot be explained in words and uh, I, I hope you guys have liked this blog uh, please make sure to follow me uh, subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter leave me with your comments uh, and do like this video uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you guys.